All right, welcome again to Tech with Ty video and podcast edition. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, just recap of Tech with Ty last week. Yep. So last week on our technology, we talked about uh, AI contract negotiation. And for the first time ever, AI negotiated a contract with itself. So all the terms back and forth, uh, negotiated the entire thing using like 150 million documents and legal journals. Now, was this legit or was it like? Legit. So it was legit, like they were negotiating stuff. Yes. It wasn't like a trial and error. Well, it negotiated it with itself. So they had like an AI going against an AI back and forth to come to a common meeting of the minds, which is what's crazy. And kind of the article that I wrote this week was based around the fact that um, I've, I've written about it in the past. AI will be able to interpret your contact contracts for you. It will be able to tell you the nuances and what are the ramifications of language that's there. And that's when, you know, I've talked to Ann and Jeff about this. They're two of our attorney friends. Um, the job of paralegals is increasingly becoming smaller because what AI is doing for attorneys um, is automating that process. You know, when they say draft a boilerplate contract or, you know, mm -hmm. those kind of things and site references, there's AI software out there that exists that will go and do that and pull the legal um, citations needed, like case law, to provide them like, hey, this is not applicable because of this case. Now, do you think it's going to completely eliminate those jobs then? I don't. Or do you think there's always going to be like a human overseeing like AI as I think, they do oh, it? Oh, I, I think you'll always need the oversight. And that's the same with, you know, real estate contracts. I think that it's cool that we'll have that as an option. I think it will eventually replace a lot of transaction management because it's going to be able to summarize your contracts for you. Um, but I don't think that it's there yet. And I think even it's terrifying. I mean, you know, with the AI emails that we send out for locations, like half the time the places are closed. They're closed or they don't exist. They're in Colorado instead of like Southern Ohio. Like it just, which is silly to me because it's so advanced it feels like, but at the same time, like we can't get this to work. I don't know why. Well, there's silly things like it will actually, it'll pull a list. I'll say, give me 52 ideas and it'll give me like one through 20. And then I have to go back and I say, hey, no, give me the complete list. I know. And what's weird to me is when it pulls from a different city and a different state, I, I guess it just recognizes. Well, I think there's a Beaver Creek in Colorado, Colorado. So it pulls from that a lot. So it'll take the city name. But even if you specify and say Dayton, Ohio, it will still mess up. Well, and I've told it to omit, like, do not have a salutation or a greeting at the beginning of the emails. Mm -hmm. And it still says, hey there, like every time. Yeah. So certainly oversight's gonna be needed, um, but mm -hmm. it's, it's a huge step in AI learning that it's able to negotiate a contract like that, so. I think mean, that's absolutely wild. Think about it in 10 years. I don't even wanna think about it. <laughs> like, Not 10 years, think about it in 10 months, 10 weeks. Well, 10 months and 10 weeks, but think about how far along it's gonna be 10 years from now. Just 10, like, I mean, 10 years. That's yeah. a long time. Oh my gosh, yeah. This was not. I mean, look at the iPhone 10 years ago. Right. No, this was. This isn't crazy. This was not a topic of conversation at all um, <laughs> 10 years ago. No, it was just in science fiction movies. Right. I mean, I think we all kind of knew it was going to happen eventually at some point. I don't think we realized that it would be like right now and to the level that it is. I think we thought like Terminator, but we didn't think like logistically it taking jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, I feel like when I pictured AI, I always pictured. Again, like yeah, Terminator, us. or like helping us in a different way. I never really pictured it completely eliminating a whole job. I never thought that far into it, I guess. But it, what AI has done is we've been in such an age of information that people have monetized that information, mm -hmm. right? The, the data. And now it has basically said, here's all of that data with a click of a button. I mean, it's like the creation of the internet back in the oh my gosh. 80s. Yeah. The, the 80s. Well, 70s. look what it did to, you know, look what Amazon did to bookstores. Look what, so, but yeah. information is so much more relevant and worth so much more money. That's why all these companies want to collect data from you. Mm -hmm. But when you have AI that can read 150 million, if not trillions of pages within a matter of seconds or minutes and decipher that, 
Like, I mean, again, it's like the internet reading of 100,000 books in five seconds. Yeah. It's like, it's similar. We're, yeah, we're not in an age where you can guard that and use that to your advantage. Right. So, uh, second thing is, and this was not in Tech with Ty, but I've talked about it numerous times, and I'm actually recording on it right now. This is the Plod Note. So I'm using it. It's recording right now. Looks like a credit card or a large uh, SD drive. Small SD drive. Imagine, I mean, just plugging that in your computer, but super thin, portable, uh, has this nice little case that is mag safe, so it sticks to the back of your phone. Um, but yeah, it's recording. It's going to summarize this entire conversation. We'll see how it does. Um, Look for the review in the next Tech with Kai. It might be in there. I've talked about it a lot, so I don't want to Well, your review. It. Yeah, review will be certainly in there. Um, tried it out earlier with Burger and worked pretty well. There were some things that it missed, but the overall summary was pretty cool. It's just bullet points. Okay. Uh, but it does give you a full transcription, which I didn't think my goal for it was to be able to use for Tech with Ty to record my ideas, have and a transcription, have and then say, rewrite this. Yeah, I mean, it would save a lot of time, oh for my sure. Gosh. Yes. We just have to talk it out. Yeah. Next up, we had education, which was find your tribe. Uh, I was recently just out in Sonoma. I'm still exhausted, and a little jet lagged from it, but great time. The education, the, the networking, the mastermind that I have with that group of brokers is bar none the best that I, I've ever had. And I look forward to it. It really is the best event. I really wanted to encourage agents to find their tribe, to find the mastermind that intrigues them, that uh, motivates them, that takes them to the next level. Because I think that's so important that you never stop learning in this industry. You need to be surrounded by people that never want to stop learning with you, mm -hmm. that want to push you to the next level. Um, and I think you should do the same thing in your community. It's, you know, hey, if this is your tribe for real estate, that's great but also you need to be focused on that within your community. What is your tribe? Mm -hmm. So if it's, hey, I love going to the dog park and associated with those people, that's your tribe. Mm -hmm. If it's, I love going hiking, the hiking people are your tribe. Uh, and you need to really utilize that to your advantage so that you are communicating that message to them on a weekly basis through video and through social media content. Um, but associate because those are, those are the people that are gonna use you in real estate. Yeah, and also like if you're doing stuff that you're enjoying, it's gonna make your life better overall anyway. Oh be my surrounding gosh. yourself with people that you have things in common with and therefore you can be sincere and overall it'll probably make you happier anyway. Yeah. So No. So find your tribe. Check out the video from uh, Seth Godin. I did link it in the last tech with Ty. We'll put it in the comments below here too as well. Um, but he's got a TED talk that's absolutely phenomenal. So uh it talks about like just our our human nature to want to find our tribe to fit in. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool. So uh, next up we had doing more video on the how, or I'm sorry, not the how to section. The coaching. coaching. Coaching section. Obviously I've been preaching it for years. We're here practicing what we preach, mm -hmm. uh, doing video. You need to be doing it. It's 2023, about to be 2024. Which is insane. There's no reason not to be doing video. You've got a phone that records 4K video. Uh, with the blurry background, all that good stuff. It doesn't even have to look that good. Um, put out the content. If the value is there, if the content's there, it's absolutely gonna perform well. And I linked a video to Gary Vaynerchuk talking with Ryan Searhart, Searhant, Searhant. Close million, enough, you million, say three versions, one of them has yeah, to, right? Million dollar listing New York. So guy's kind of a big deal. Um, obviously he has done a very good job of promoting himself on social media. And Gary and him were talking about like, hey, what would you do as an agent? It's like, hey, do video. Get out there and do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Record it, put it on YouTube Shorts because Google owns YouTube Shorts or YouTube. And when people, the number one thing people do when they're relocating to an area is they search about the schools, about the neighborhoods, about the uh, restaurants, about do. the nightlife, yeah. you know, whatever it might be. And if you're putting content out on that stuff and be careful of fair housing. Um, right. Be careful of schools and stuff like that. But if you're putting out content talking about your community, you're going to show up and YouTube is absolutely, and Google's absolutely prioritizing that because it's not only relevant content, but it's more recent content as opposed to scraping the internet for a blog that you wrote 10 years ago. So video is the new blogging. You gotta get out there and you start, gotta start doing it. 